So, somebody asked me how I made this DIY hose crimper. Um, and it's, it's, it's actually quite simple. It's based on the Eaton Weatherhead Collo Crimp T400 crimper, which basically uses three components. It uses the die ring, this is a T400-8, which has tapered walls on it, and this is a pretty beefy thing. And then it uses this, these collets, and this is a T400, 4C maybe, yeah, I think. And it's basically for half inch hose. Um, this goes in here, into the die ring. And then you use a spacer ring. And this is a T462. And these spacer rings have two sides, one with a depression with a ridge on the outside uh, and a flat side. And the specs call for flat side up or flat side down. On my particular hose and this particular collet, it's calling for flat side down. Um, so that's the collar crimp components. And these are not cheap. Uh, they were kind of expensive. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I don't know, maybe four or five hundred dollars. I think you can probably get them used if you can find them. Um, when I ordered this, I, I had difficulty even finding them new, never mind used. So the crimper itself is very simple. It consists of a base, uh, which is basically a piece of half inch plate, which measures 12 by 12 roughly, doesn't really matter. Um, it has a hole drilled in the center. That's a three inch hole. Has two half inch pins here and they're threaded, drilled and threaded on the back side here and here. And then the two longer pins are just plug welded on the back side. I basically drilled the hole. I think these are three quarter. Yeah, these are three quarter pins. These are half inch pins. Not that it really matters. It's just what I had around. Um, and all the base does is basically help you to center the die and keep it from kind of sliding around. Um, and once you put the collet and the spacer ring in, then you basically need a pusher, um, which goes on like this. Pusher makes contact with the spacer ring and presses it down, forces the collet to compress around the fitting, which looks like this. Um, the pusher itself is really simple. It's a piece of four and a half inch, looks like this, Schedule 40 pipe, steel pipe. Um, I cut it to size, and this is, uh, Yep, four and a half by four and a half. And I put a two and three quarter inch gap in here. Um, the plate, which I drilled two holes for the guide pins to match. And the plate is three quarter inches thick. You kind of need something beefy because this is what your press is going to press on. This top plate is just to basically capture the um, the press so it can actually slide in here and it will go up and down with the press. Um, that's all that is. And this just goes on here like this. Like that. And the press comes down, presses it down and compresses the fitting onto the hose. So that's pretty much it. The dimensions on this top plate, which basically just need to 
encompass these guide pins is roughly ten and a quarter by three and three quarters. It's just what I had, just a piece of stuff. And this is a, probably this is quarter inch, quarter inch by five by. Uh, so that's pretty much. It's pretty simple. So the way this works on my press, anyway, is the unit goes in there. You basically put this on there like that, adjust so it's centered over this hole. You then take your die ring, put it in there. You call it. And these collets are made in two halves. Makes it, I guess, easier to get in there. Get them in evenly. Like that. Put this in. And then start pressing. The, uh, this part contacts the ring, which presses and makes the die compress on the tapered walls. That's pretty much it. The fitting, this I believe is a JIC fitting, and they make all different types of fittings, different, different size fittings for different size hoses, different systems, um, different ends, uh, different, th there's just a bewildering way, there's no standard. Um, for these for these hydraulic fittings, so you really have to get the fitting that's going to fit whatever it is the hose is connecting to. Um, so, and you need to get the proper fitting for this type of crimp. Um, there's other types uh, made by other manufacturers. This is a Eaton Weatherhead T400. This is what this runs on. They're um, the way these work is basically you want to put your fitting on and then you first you want to mark your depth. So when you put this on, you, you make sure that this is getting all the way up there. So basically you just want to get that in there and then <clears throat> there. They're, they're not easy to get in. Uh, if you notice, and they're even harder to get out by the way. Um, but the bottom of the fitting went to, went to my mark. And then what you do, take your fitting and it comes up from the bottom, and you basically position it to this dotted line, and that goes basically to the top of the collet. And then you just start crimping. Um, so if you want to see that in action, you can watch the first video uh, on my channel. And that's about it. So it's a very simple system. This is really easy to make. Uh, it's the it's the die, the bowl, and the collet that's kind of pricey. Um, but if you're lucky, maybe you can find them used. I don't think these things really go bad. Um, so, yep, that's it.